This is lecture 5 and in this we will derive the torque speed relationship of electric motor also speed regulation and speed equation of an electric motor. The lecture 1 was about the motor principle lecture 2 was about the back EMF and then we derived the voltage equation of an electric motor and also we derived the torque equation. The motor principle essentially said that whenever an electrical conductor which carries a current is placed in a magnetic field it will experience a force and the direction of the force was given by Fleming's left hand rule. And then there was a back EMF which produced in all electrical motors like a generator motor also produces a EMF called back EMF which will oppose the supply voltage. This is Fleming's right hand rule which was used to derive the back EMF and the back EMF and current was related by the current is equal to the supply voltage minus back EMF divided by the armature resistance. Again we derive the voltage equation which is VIA is equal to EBIA plus IA square into RA. EBIA, EBIA in this case is a mechanical power developed in an armature written in the electrical equivalent form. Then the torque equation of an, of an electrical mo DC motor is equal to 1 upon 2 pi phi z into IA into P divided by A. Torque is directly proportional to the flux and the armature current. This was a torque equation of an electrical motor. Then the back EMF of an electrical motor can be written as EB is equal to V minus IARA. That is a back EMF and again the back EMF using the generator EMF equation is equal to phi Zn divided by 60 into P divided by A. This both equation can be equated which will give the speed equation of an electrical motor as N equal to V minus IARA divided by phi into 60A divided by Zp that's equating the equation again we know that V minus IARA is equal to back EMF EB so N equal to EB divided by phi that is a flux into 60 a that is the number of parallel paths, Z is a conductor and P is the number of poles. So N equal to KEP divided by phi. So N the no, speed is directly proportional to back EMF and inversely proportional to the flux per pole of an electrical motor. So that is the speed equation of an electrical motor. So it is seen that as the back EMF will increase, the speed will increase. As the flux will decrease, the speed will increase. So that's how the speed equation of an electrical motor is written again the speed regulation of an electrical motor is given as this is given as a ratio of no load speed minus full load speed that is a speed when there is no load on the permit shaft that is no load is connected to the motor minus the full load when the full load is loaded on the shaft the speed will reduce slightly divided by the full load speed into 100 so how much speed regulation is actually a, a relationship of how much the speed will reduce from no load to full load if suddenly the load is taken off the motor then how much the speed will vary that's uh, the definition of speed regulation Again finding the relationship between torque and speed. The speed equation is given as N is equal to directly proportional to KEB divided by phi that is a flux per pole. So the speed of an electrical motor is proportional to the back EMF and is inversely proportional to the flux. Also it is known as torque of an electrical motor developed at the armature is directly proportional to the flux and the armature current. So from both these equation we can find the relationship between torque and speed. So it, we can say that if there is a torque increase in the armature it should cause the motor speed to increase not decrease. So how does the relationship between torque and speed works? So first we imagine that the flux is decreased in an electrical motor. So according to the equation EB is equal to N phi by K, the back EMF will also decrease, that's the second step. So the flux is decreased, the back EMF will also decrease. So what will happen is that when the flux will decrease and the back EMF will decrease, the armature current will increase. That is a V minus EP divided by RS. So the back EMF has decreased, so the armature current should increase. So what this will do, the increase in the armature current will increase the torque. So even if the flux increases, the IA increases and the torque will increase. So the increase in torque will cause the speed to increase. So even if there is an increase in 
flux this should cause a decrease in speed but as there is an increase in torque the speed of an electrical motor will increase so that's how the torque and the speed of an electrical motor is related that's all if you like this video please do subscribe like and comment